so great to be with you again today. Uh, we are still in lockdown practicing social distancing, which I thought was going to end real soon, but apparently it isn't because our governor decided to let it go another month. But, you know, we got to do what we got to do. And uh, so anyway, uh, we are coming to you. We miss our church, uh, Honeycomb Church of God in Carver's Ridge. Uh, my pastor misses you also. Brother Harold Miller is a, a good pastor, a very good pastor. I am so thankful for social media so that we can keep in touch through other means. Uh, we are going to sing three songs again this morning, and I am praying for you and trusting God to get us through this pandemic. So here we go. This, uh, we're going to do Give Them All in the key of uh, C. Are we ready? <laughs> Life. Have you ever been there thinking, have we, have I ever really made a difference and caused anybody to give their life to God? And, and you know, I think Satan tries to torment us with that, but anyway, this song come out of that questioning. So here we go. Uh, I ha have I made a difference? Key of 
Jean. the bass, getting ready to play that now, and uh, that's Terry Ellison, and of course I'm Carolyn Ellison, so we're the Ellison family coming to you this morning, and we hope that we are a blessing to you. We're going to sing another song tonight, or today, I'm sorry, this morning, and uh, it's entitled, He's an On-Time God. He may not come when you think he should, but he's always on, on time, amen? So I hope this blesses you. Okay, I think I'm set. No. All right, now I'm set. Here we go. Give C. Well, he's an on
to you today and, and the scripture that I come up with is Romans 12 12 and it says rejoicing in hope and patience in tribulation continually continuing instant in prayer we are going through tough times right now time of uncertainty times of fear times of anxiety the scripture tells us to rejoice in hope in other words, have faith that things will get better. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. As my husband says, not yet seen. Amen? Hallelujah. Even though it looks bad right now, rejoice in that hope. And God will bring about that which we cannot see. Amen? All through the Bible, prophets like Abraham and David and Joshua and Moses and Noah and many more who had to be patient in time of tribulation became great men of God and prospered just in, in just uh, like those in, in God Almighty. What the world is going through is, is tribulation right now. But, hallelujah, if we have patience, God will bring us through the even even better than we were before. Amen? Don't let fear cause your you to be to not believe. Don't don't listen to negativity talk. I know it's um, I know a man who can and will change things around. Amen. Right now, all you when you turn on the news, all you hear is negative talk. But God can change things around. Uh, there's a quote that Eleanor Roosevelt said. She said, "We gain strength and courage and confidence by each experience in which we really stop to look fear in the face." We must do that which we think we cannot. Amen? So we can. 
do things. We can come through this. Every, every time we are tested, if we put our trust in God, he will turn it around for our good. Amen. Satan meant what Satan meant for harm. God will turn it around for our good. Hallelujah. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all the ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. So today, get on your knees and pray and ask God to heal our land. We don't understand the whys, but God does. Amen? Prayer is the key. It helps you to shut out what's going on around you and focus on God. Our understanding will never understand the ways of God. But if we trust him and acknowledge him, he will direct our path. Let your light shine in a dark world. God will never leave us nor forsake us. We love you. I am praying for you and believing that God will direct the path of our president and give him strength to come through this and give him the wisdom that he needs to fight this virus. See you next week. God bless you and God loves you. Amen. See you next week.